MaxGuitarLessons.com, and uh, this is the first lesson to Surrender by Cheap Trick. And uh, we're going to be doing the intro, which is pretty short, and at least some of the verse here in this lesson. Um, remember, you can always check out my lessons here on YouTube or also at my website. It's www.mikesguitarlessons.com. You can also check me out on Facebook. I have a group there called Mike's Guitar Lessons. Just search that and you'll be able to find it. I'm even on Twitter. My, it's, my username is at Mike's Guitar. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the beginning of the song, this section right here, let me actually play it for you. intro right there, pretty short and easy. Um, we're just going to use fifth chords or power chords and uh, basically just two of them and you're going to take your first finger and put it on the fourth fret of the thick E string and then use your third finger to play uh, the, see that's the sixth fret of the A string. Okay, mute everything else and just play those two notes together. Now on this chord you're actually going to keep strumming it, but not as fast as the power chords later. On this one you're going to keep a pretty slow rhythm just going just eight of them, okay? Now after that you're going to go up two frets to uh, sixth fret on the E and eighth fret on the A string and uh, strum that chord once and let it ring. Now, you let it ring the same amount of time as you were on this chord, so they're equal in that way. Um, and then basically you do the whole thing over again. So that intro part is just this. And then again. Okay. Now, one thing you might have noticed is I'm kind of accenting just a little bit every other one, kind of going... Hitting every other uh, chord on that first power chord a little harder um, than the other. So that's one little thing you can do to make it sound better. Uh, now, after you've done that, that's the intro, then we get right into the verse. Now, this song actually changes keys about halfway through the song, so the verse, you can't just plug it in the whole way through the song. You actually have to know the key change um, halfway through, but other than the key change, everything's key change, everything stays pretty much the same. Uh, let's go ahead and get this first part of the verse out of the way, okay? Now, uh, pretty much going to be power, uh, all power chords, palm muted, but uh, there are some rhythm considerations. Let's go ahead and get the actual chords out of the way, though. Okay, the first one's going to be a B5 power chord, and you're going to have second fret on the A string, and fourth fret on the D string. Okay, we're muting everything else, so that's your first chord. second chord is going to be uh, the same frets, but E string and A string. So second on the thick E string, and fourth fret on the A string. And that was just going to be eight uh, palm muted power chords. Okay. Then you're going to go to open on the thick E string, and second fret on the A string. Just use your first finger since that's handy right there. Okay. Um, eight uh, strums on that one, all palm muted. Okay? And then we're going back to the first one again. So it's second on the A string and fourth on the uh, D string. Okay? And that one's uh, the only one that kind of has a different rhythm to it. It's going to go. Okay? What I'm kind of doing is strumming it once normally. And then bringing my hand down to touch the strings, but it's not really a, feel, a full mute. I'm not stopping it immediately. I'm trying to barely touch them so it just kind of fades them out before I hit it again. So it's going to go. You see that? And then three more strums after that. So four strums total. Like that. And that's how you play that chord. Um, and pretty much the other ones are, are pretty much just uh, palm muted all the way through. So it's kind of like this. Um. <clears throat> okay, then you're going to do 
that again, and uh, basically, uh, that's your first part of the verse. Now, after that, you have a um, different section right there. I probably have time to do that, I think. I don't want to run long, so I'll kind of uh, go through this quickly. Um, so after that, you're going to have uh, open on the E string, second fret on the A string, and you're going to play it eight times again. Then second on the E string, fourth on the A string. Then second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string. You're going to stay on this chord twice as long, so it's going to end up being 16 strums, okay? All right. Now, uh, you're going to do that two times in a row. Now, the only thing is, I'm going to play along with it here. I'm going to have it uh, actually play along with it so we can hear exactly how the uh, strumming and everything goes. So, here we go the intro and the first verse. So that's pretty much how you're going to get through the intro and the verse there at the beginning. Remember, uh, later on, uh, the, there's a key change, so you have to change where your chords are at. But if you're curious about playing that and you're watching this video on YouTube, go to my website, and 